Good morning, Appleton North, and welcome to today's episode of The Spark. For Friday, May 8th. Hello, Appleton North staff. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Thank you for all that you do and for being there for your students during online learning. Happy Teacher Appreciation. We miss all of you and we hope you're all doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity and the inspiration you've given us. We appreciate everything you've done for us and how hard you work. Thank you, Appleton North staff, for your support throughout these four years and your dedication to the students' well being. Thank you, teachers, for always being there for me and helping me when I need it the most. Thank you for helping me succeed over the past four years I wouldn't have been able to do without all you guys. Big thank you to you guys for believing in me and pushing me to be the best version of myself that I can be. Thank you for always bringing smiles and memories to high schoolers' faces. It means more than you could ever know. I'd like to thank all of the teachers and staff members for the effort and the amount of time they put into making us have a good education and making the school day fun. I'd like to thank all my teachers for helping me get through the school year and helping me learn a lot. Every single day I'm completely amazed with how much you do for us and how much you care about us and it makes me want to work even harder and be a better person. Shout out to all the teachers uh, helping us through these tough times. Uh, we're all struggling through it, it's all new to us, but a little appreciation to you guys. Hey teachers, thank you for all you do and we really appreciate you and I hope you guys are all enjoying your time off. Thank you teachers, I know we aren't together right now, but you continue to push us to be good students and to learn and encourage us and help us through this. We appreciate you guys. I appreciate teachers like Mr. Amponi or Mrs. Cooper because they make the end of the year fun despite the distance and they're making senior year worthwhile. Whenever I email my teachers, I always get a pretty fast response, which shows that they're interested in helping us, and not only that, but making sure we're doing okay. Thank you so much, teachers at Appleton North. We couldn't have done these last four years without you. Extra special shout out to my FCLA teachers. You guys rock, and I will see you next year. Through these unprecedented times, I just want to say thank you on behalf of myself and the rest of us students. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for keeping up our learning, even though school may not be in session. I wanted to say thank you to all the amazing teachers, janitors, counselors, and everyone at Appleton North who has made my experience and all my peers' experience in high school so amazing. We really appreciate all you guys have done for us. Now let's see who's celebrating their birthday today. A special happy birthday to Ainsley, Sam Chat, Hayden, Bing Jing, Ms. Sherman, and Ms. Gertz. Hope all of you have a wonderful birthday on Friday. Saturday will be a happy birthday to Rachel, Morgan, and Ms. Flom. Hope you three have a wonderful birthday on Saturday. And then on Sunday, it's a happy birthday to Arwen, Robert, Anna, Caitlin, and Nathan. Hope all of you have a wonderful birthday. Hi Appleton North, I am Miss Cooper. I teach dual credit psych and AP psych. Wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my students. I miss you dearly. Hope you're hanging in there, making the best of this time that we have. I also wanted to take a second to share some psych terms with you that might help motivate you to get through the rest of the school year, which isn't a lot when you really think of it. So first one, intrinsic motivation. Find something that motivates you from within, something you truly enjoy doing. Maybe it's getting outside like I am, going for a walk, going for a run, reading, cooking, who knows, anything. Find something that's gonna motivate you from within. Second is feel good, do good phenomenon. When we're in a good mood, we tend to do good things for other people. So feeling good maybe you help your parents cook dinner or call up a friend who's having a bad day 
I like to think of it as the opposite. If you do good, it's going to make you feel good. So do something good for someone, reach out, do anything, and it, I promise you, it will put you in a good mood and it'll make you have that really, for lack of better words, good feeling inside. And the last one, if all else fails, practice some social contagion. So social contagion is when behavior is contagious and probably the most contagious behavior that's out there is laughter. So watch something funny. Let me know what you're watching because I'm in the mood for some good laughter too. Um, it's going to, again, give you that good feeling. You're going to be smiling. You're going to be laughing. I promise it'll get you over the hump as well. So hang in there. Um, again, I'm thinking of all of you. Um, if you are curious about any of these terms or any other psych terms, reach out to any psychology student. They're pretty much a wealth of amazing knowledge. Um, and to my AP Psych students, you better be studying for that test coming up on the 19th. All right, guys. See you later. This is Mr. Pennenberg, and I approve this message.